weekend has started with Monday being a federal holiday to honor and recognize the American labor movement. This weekend, many of those laborers will be heading to Port Aransas for some rest and relaxation. Our Michael Gibson has more on the large number of tourists who are said to descend on the beaches there. Traditionally, the Labor Day weekend marks the end of the summer tourist season. And here in Port Aransas, tourism officials are definitely excited about what they believe is going to be another big holiday weekend. We found a number of people already out on the beach, relaxing and enjoying the cloud cover, which helped to kick off the Labor Day weekend by providing some much needed relief from the heat. Now, this couple said they were from Ohio and had ended up here instead of Florida because of Hurricane Idalia. All the forecasts are that it's going to be even a little bit over last year in terms of uh, revenue and, and bookings and check ins. So we'll see about 80% occupancy here on the island. Here at the Palmia Beach Resort, the Vice President of Development and Operations says they're booked solid. We're expecting 100% uh, uh, occupancy at Palmia. Um, it's uh, the beach is already filling up. Folks have been coming in since yesterday. Three, two, one. This ribbon cutting ceremony at Palmia marked the opening of the resort's Starbucks shop, which is located in this old food trailer. Mallory Riddle was serving up folks their lattes as the line quickly formed as the people here in Port Aransas were now finally able to get their Starbucks fix. We have the coffee by day and we also have the liquor by night, which is nice, you know. Um, so you're able to get a experience here close to the beach. The beach is the biggest draw here as this town of 3,000 folks is about to swell to around 20,000 people everyone looking to make the most of the end of summer 2023. Michael Gibson, 3 News. All right, thanks for that, Michael.